in this video we're going to talk about one of the apps that you can use on your TI-84 Plus calculator. So to get to your apps, it's right next to the math button. It should have purple lettering. It's APPS. And these are the applications that you, that you can have for your SOL. There's only four that are approved. And in this video, we're going to talk about the fourth one, PLY-SMLT2. The other one that you, you can use for your Algebra 1 SOL that could be helpful is number three. We'll talk about that in a different video. And we're going to talk about one of the applications in this fourth app. So we're going to go to four. That just says press any key, so that's what we do. And in this video, we're just going to talk about number one, which is what we're going to do, the poly root finder. So when can you use the poly root finder? You can use it for factoring help. So this is whenever we're talking about quadratics. So if we have a quadratic AX squared plus BX plus C, and we need to factor it, we can actually kind of work backwards. So we're going to take a look at a couple problems where we can um, use it to solve for factoring. The other thing you can use it for is for solving quadratics. So again, anytime you have this X squared, and that's your highest exponent, you're dealing with a quadratic. And we can use the poly root finder to solve that. In Algebra 2, you'll actually get into it a little bit more where you'll solve um, things of higher degree polynomials where the exponent's above 2. But anyways, whenever we're told to solve quadratics, we might see something to the effect of find solutions, find roots, find x-intercepts. They might even ask you to use the quadratic formula. And even though we wouldn't use the quadratic formula by using this app, this app is just a computer program that uses the quadratic formula. So we're going to use the poly root finder. So I'm going to hit enter. And then once we hit enter, we everything's set up for us in terms of quadratics. So we just hit graph or next. And we just enter in the coefficients. So the first several problems, we're going to show how you can use this to factor. The key with the factoring is you flip the signs of solutions. So let's take a look at number one. If we want to factor this, you should see it just has a greatest common factor. And that greatest common factor is n. So it's just going to be n times n plus 3. But let's say you weren't sure what to do. You see that n squared. and You say, hey, I can use this app. You'd be right. So we put in the coefficients. So the constant term is 0. So we have to put in 1, 3, and 0. And then if we graph or solve, we'll see that we'll end up with n minus 0. So that's what I'm talking about when I say flip the sign. We have to put a minus there, and it's going to be n plus 3. We could flip the sign. It's a negative here, so we flip it to a plus 3. And of course, n minus 0 is the same as n. So this is a problem that's probably a lot easier just to use by greatest common factor, but maybe you're stuck. Maybe you get a little bit anxious. You can use this uh, poly root finder to help you out. So let's take a look at the next problem, number two. It says factor each completely again. So this is one that's not maybe quite as easy. So I'm going to exit out of this and show you how you can use it again. Apps, go to number four, hit enter or whatever key you want. And again, we're working with the poly root finder. And we're just going to hit next or graph. So we just enter in the three coefficients. One, we have three, and negative 40. And then you just hit graph or solve, and we get our solutions. So these right here are the solutions, the roots, the x-intercept. And to factor it, we flip those. So instead of x minus 8, it's x plus 8. Instead of x plus 5, it's going to be x minus 5. So there you go. We have factored, and we've used this to help us out. So one of the downfalls with the poly root finder is that it doesn't take out a greatest common factor. 
So let's go through the steps again. We hit apps, go down to four, hit any button, I'll hit enter. And we want to choose one, it's already set up, so we hit next. So it doesn't find um, the greatest common factor. And here's an example where there's one with the greatest common factor. So the coefficients are 2, 12, and negative 80. So if I hit solve, I see that the factors look like they're going to be x plus 10. Remember, we flip the sign, and x minus 4. So when we factor, we flip. But this is not fully factored. These are the solutions. These are the roots. These are the x-intercepts that we get from that. But we should see that the greatest common factor is 2. So this is the factored form. The app gets us these two. So the app gets these. App doesn't get the GCF, the greatest common factor. So you still need to do some math. You still need to look at it and think about it. Um, but this is a very powerful tool that can help you out. And let's take a look at one more example with factoring. And there's one other thing we need to remember. So let's exit out of this. So we go to number four, hit any key. We hit enter, we're at number one and next. So we're at 10, negative 71, and negative 72. So we hit graph or solve. Now, we have a fraction. There's another special rule whenever we have a fraction. So it looks like we have, we don't have x, we have n. So let me change that letter to n. n minus 8, and n plus 9 over 10. Remember, we flipped the sign. But whenever we have a fraction, there's a special thing we need to do. So when there's a fraction, you take the denominator and slide it. So with a fraction, you slide the denominator. So that's what we're going to do. We still have n minus 8. And then whenever we slide that, the denominator is 10, so it's going to be 10n plus 9. And like we saw before, we should check to see if there's a greatest common factor, because it doesn't take care of that. There isn't one. So that's going to be our answer. That's how we factor that. So the first application, like I said, is that we can factor quadratics. There's a lot of useful ways to do that. So if I go on to number 5 here in my examples here, we're no longer asked to factor. We're asked to solve each equation with the quadratic formula. So we're looking for solutions, roots, or x-intercepts. These are all synonymous terms. So what we need to do is always, 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 whenever we use the app, first make sure it is in standard form. So remember what standard form is. AX squared plus BX plus C is equal to zero. So that's the key. It's in standard form, so we can use the app. If it's not in standard form, we can't use the app. So we're just looking for solutions. We don't need to worry about any greatest common factor or anything like that. Let's go through the steps again. Apps. We go to 4, hit enter, number 1, graph or next. We just enter the coefficient. So we have 2, 6, and negative 56. And we hit graph or solve. So our solutions, our roots, our x-intercepts, our x is equal to negative 7, and x is equal to 4. So that's all we need to do. The app is much more powerful whenever we're trying to solve for solutions. That's really its primary purpose. So if I look at number 6, it's another thing we need to make sure of. We have equals 0, so we're good. But whenever we write it out, it might be clear to see if I put the 0p in. Because now you get to see what that b term is, what that coefficient is. So 
once we have that, it's just the exact same process. Apps, PLY SMLT2, going number one, next, six, zero, and negative 96. So we get our answer. This time it's P is equal to four, and P is equal to negative four. That's it. So we have a couple more problems. Now, if we look at number seven, this is not in standard form. We have the equals five. So how do we get it in standard form? Well, we just do the inverse. We subtract five. And when we do that, we get equals zero. We have 2n squared over here, minus 128. And maybe like in our last example, we don't have a n, n term. So let's put a plus 0n to help us keep track of that. All right, so we can go to apps, number four, hit any key. We want number one, graph or next, two, zero, negative 128, solve it. So we get x is equal to, or sorry, n is equal to eight, or n is equal to negative eight. Again, finding the solutions is simpler than just factoring with the app. And we have one more example. Sometimes your equation won't always come up as a, a rational number. So let's take a look at example number eight. It's not equal to zero, so we have to move this 12 over. And it's a constant term, so it has to line up with the 104. So we have 3r squared minus 11r. And then we have minus sorry, I think it's minus ninety two. Let's just verify that. I want to make sure I get that right. So negative one oh four plus twelve. There we go. Negative ninety two. All right, so already apps number four. We hit enter any key enter again already set up so we do 3 negative 11 and negative 92 and we hit solve and we see that we get our answer we can change it um, to a fraction or a decimal so that's another useful thing that we have so we have r is equal to 23 over 3 and r is equal to negative 4. All right, so that's a rational number, and we can also express it as a decimal. Um, the one that I thought we were doing was number 9. This one is an example where we get an irrational number or perhaps no solution. So what do we have to do? Can we use the app? No, so we need to subtract 12 first. And make sure it lines up. These aren't like terms here. These are two separate terms. So we have 9m squared plus 9m minus 12 is equal to 0. So using the app again, apps number 4, any key, select 1. We hit next. We have 9, 9, and negative 12. So when we hit solve or graph, we get this. And whenever we hit the F to D, we see there's nothing that changes. These are irrational numbers. So which one is it? So we should write down M is about equal to negative 1.758 goes on forever. And we have 0.758 goes on forever. Well, all we need to do is check these numbers out and we can use the alpha y equals enter to help us quite a bit negative 5 plus the square root so second x squared 71 not 70 71 over 2 and whenever i hit enter i see that that number is nowhere to be found it's not anything that i have so a's out let's try letter c alpha y equals enter negative 3 plus the square root 57 over 6. And we see that 
that one's right there so that's a good answer and the other one will also be the same um, kind of take a little shortcut here the only thing that's different is instead of this plus there's a minus and there you see we have the other answer so I hope you found this video helpful on how to use this app properly um, check back the other videos for instructions on how to use the calculator further